Sell me this pen. Sharpie as gel. The power of Sharpie, now in a gel pen. You know what I'm saying? He's creating urgency. Oh What's up, guys? It's your boy, Benny. Retail politics and presidential politics is all about letting the voters get to know who you are. And the last time Donald Trump was in Iowa, he let Iowans know that he's Batman. Is apparently Batman. Yep. Yes, that's what he told a nine-year-old boy from Iowa who rode on his helicopter this weekend at the Iowa State Fair. Watch the YouTube video. Yes. Mr. Trump. Yes. Are you Batman? I am Batman. <laughs> Boom! Donald Trump is Batman. It is confirmed. And so, just like Bruce Wayne would do, Donald Trump is now signing chess. How does this make you feel? Donald Trump is signing... The chest, there's no other way to uh, describe it, of an Iowa bartender, I think, at a campaign stop. Oh yeah, these are the real pool photos from the stop itself. Donald Trump is right not just on the woman's chest, but also on her skin as she makes this expression. Read into it what you will. How'd it make you feel? <laughs> <laughs> What's the caption here? Former President Donald Trump signs autograph at the Treehouse Pub and Eatery in Bettendorf, Iowa. Today, Trump fans on the internet like Swig are saying, we are so back. Yep. A lot of people saying Ron DeSantis could never. And, um, I mean, I don't know, man. I think, I think they're right. Here's the actual footage of it happening. This is uh, Donald Trump there at the pub. Trump's electoral events look a lot more fun than Biden's. Signing girls' t-shirts. Here he goes. Go in there, Donald. Looks like he asked permission there from the dude before he does it. <laughs> what? What? I, okay. I mean, what? What do you want? Here, we'll watch the clip. <laughs> Trump do, doing his best to keep it family friendly. <laughs> and then signing your arm. All right. Well, there you go. I have to get that tattoo. Get that tattoo. Get that tattoo. Okay. And then, of course, she makes the, she makes the face. There you go. There's... <laughs> Yes, it's, 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 welcome to 2023. Well, in politics, 2023. And then get that tattooed is what they say. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, apparently Donald Trump asked the woman's husband permission before he signs her shirt. That's what people are saying online. Uh, Trump asked woman's boyfriend permission before he signs shirt. Uh, okay. A true gentleman. <laughs> All right. <laughs> This woman is also uh, saying, hey, we're like 100% total uh, hardcore, super duper MAGA in this uh, in this bar. And this is a this is a pub again in, in Bettendorf, Iowa. Thank you so much. Love you so much. Oh, we're diehard. We love you so much. We're diehard. Diehard MAGA. Okay, so there you go. Now, uh, Donald Trump visited this bar in a act of uh, really cool retail politics. Uh, this is exactly the kind of thing that Donald Trump should be doing. Uh, Don this is Donald Trump's superpower. He handed out pizzas. He was hanging with the people. People were cheering. This uh, Obviously, the signing of the woman's shirt made the tippy top of the article. But people are, uh, you know, we're cheering for Trump. I mean, listen, listen to the reception that he gets the moment he walks in the building. Can't beat it. And then Donald Trump goes and hands out pizzas to people. Bought a bunch of cheese pizzas. What would you do if you got a cheese pizza from Donald Trump? Would you eat it? What would you do? It's really interesting. Uh, a guy who knows Donald Trump. I got pizza from Trump. <laughs> I got pizza from Trump. A guy who knows Trump really, really well who I've heard called, uh, you know, Donald Trump's 
fourth son uh, is Charlie Kirk. Charlie Kirk uh, had, I think, a, a really interesting, uh, really interesting X here. Uh, Trump 2.0 is different. Trump 2, 2.0 is retail politics over rallies. Hands out pizzas to Iowa voters. We want pizza from Trump. Trump at a pub. Trump at a Dairy Queen. Trump 2.0 is ignoring the canned media-dominated GOP debate while visiting auto workers in Michigan. Trump is going to East Palestine before Biden. No one can match Trump at retail politics. Often imitated, never duplicated. The media will have to cover every minute of it, and they need the ratings. Yep. Noting correctly that Donald Trump did, in fact, uh, do uh, these things, Donald Trump, in fact, enraged the media in engaging in retail politics directly after his arraignment in Miami, Donald Trump stops at a local bakery. That's a big fa big time favorite for people in Miami. Listen to Jake Tapper have a cortisol fi filled uh, uh, estrogen pumping rage fest hissy fit on CNN airwaves after watching Donald Trump walk into a bakery after being arrested. National security laws. Uh, and then obstructing and refusing to cooperate with the FBI. Yeah, uh, whatever this spectacle is that's unfolding before us, let's remember what this case is about. Let's remember what this indictment charges. Again, Donald Trump is charged with a series of federal felonies for mishandling the most sensitive government documents remember, that we have and for obstruction of justice, along with Walt Nauta, who is charged with intentionally setting up lies to the grand jury to the FBI. Any way you look at this, and again, despite whatever be may be going on in that restaurant, this case isn't going to be settled legally in a cafe. It's going to be settled in the court based on the facts of that. The folks in the control room. I don't need to see any more of that. <laughs> oh, oh, they are such feline creatures. Donald Trump went to the East Palestine McDonald's. You remember East Palestine got chemically nuked by the Biden administration. Joe Biden never went. Joe Biden said he would go. Hasn't gone. Trump buy, bought McDonald's for all of the first responders during his visit. And you can see here how joyous the staff at McDonald's were for John, Donald Trump's presence. Uh, again, still uh, the only Republican to have actually gone to this disaster site, chemical disaster site caused by the Biden regime. Donald Trump also at Dairy Queen in Iowa, Ordering blizzards for people. Getting a blizzard from Donald Trump. Come on, man. I love blizzards. I'm an Iowan. So, pizza, blizzards, pubs, food. Speaks to my heart. Uh, what else speaks to the heart of America? Well, let's go ahead and check the uh, latest polls here. The latest polls have Trump beating Biden by a considerable margin. This is a four-point margin here for Trump. Based on a liberal poll, it's crazy. There's 538. They just, con you know, they just compile the polls together, right? The Emerson College poll has Trump beating Biden. <laughs> Emerson College has them in a dead heat. Oh man. Oh, this is so scary. Oh, this is so scary for the libs. They are. Uh, YouGov poll has them in a dead heat. Oh man, Biden is just dead heat. Morning consult. Biden is collapsing. YouGov poll has Trump beating Biden. Oh, man. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, they're starting to throw Harris in here. So Kamala Harris versus everyone. Kamala Harris versus Trump. Trump cleans the floor with her by six points. What do you want, man? Them's the numbers. Donald Trump has a, a superpower. The superpower is, and this may seem silly, but it's to make people feel special, to connect with people. He has been a celebrity for 50 years. Just the gravity and the magnitude of the man like, kind of sets people in shock when they meet him. I've seen it. I've seen Donald Trump behind the scenes. He weaponizes this to great effect and is a phenomenon. We'll never see anything. We've never seen anything like it before, and we will never see anything like it again. So it's, it's just fascinating to watch uh, while it's happening. You are witnessing history once more, ladies and gentlemen. It's your boy, Benny. Like, share, and subscribe to end the communism that Donald Trump is running against. See ya.